I'm going to go over some very basic usage of text nodes within Fusion. Now this is for very basic users or people that are learning. Uh, if you're an advanced user of Fusion or uh, DaVinci Resolve, this is going to seem very elementary to you. But there is many of us like myself that are still learning to use this. And there's some nice hidden features within the text nodes in Fusion that become very beneficial. So I'm not even going to worry about bringing in a picture right now. I'm just going to go up to my um, effects library and go over to generators and then down to solid color and just bring a solid color down. I'm just going to extend this out and I'm going to make this into a Fusion uh, compound clips so that Fusion can see it. I'm just going to leave it uh, named compound clip. That's fine for right now. And then I'm going to jump over to the Fusion tab. And uh, once we get inside there, I'm just going to kind of center things up a little bit here by dragging uh, my mouse over and just moving them as a group and then unlocking them so they're not a group anymore. And what I'm going to do is just bring in a text note. Now there's four different ways to do that. One way is that you could just come up under Effects Library and then under Tools and down to Generator and Text and you could just bring one in that way. That's one way to do it. And I just hit my Delete key there is all I did to that. Uh, you could also just right click within the area here and go to Add Tool, Generator, Text. That's another way that you could do it. A third way to do it is if you hold the control key and the space bar brings up the uh, selection menu. You can type in text, select it here, and say add, and it'll bring it in. Uh, the easiest way is uh, just to bring it in from the menu right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the media in one so that when I bring it in, it will automatically put it in line for me. And what it did is, since it needs a merge tool in order to tie them all together, it went ahead and created the merge for me. I didn't have to bring it in separately. And now I have the text that I was looking for. Now, I kind of go along with this. Uh, since this color block is just black, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a background color and just place it in between. And once again, it creates the merge tool for me. And with this merge, with this background, I'm just going to go up here to my color and just make it a gray. Let's go ahead and clear it up so we just have one screen. And we'll enlarge it just a little bit so I can see it better. And we'll click back over to the text node. And now this is kind of what we're going to get into. I'm going to go up here and just type in some text. Put in Camper John. And then this is kind of where I'm going to get into a few details of what you can do with some of this. This here is very basic. Size, increase a little bit if you want to. Tracking, you can spread the letters out a little bit if you want to. These are pretty normal items right through here. Now what I'm going to go up here to and you can increase the size. I'm going to go up to uh, bold and go to extra bold just to make it a little bit bigger. Alright now what we're going to do is go over to the paintbrush one which is the shading one. When we click on that now we get some interesting options that you may not be aware of. Right here in this drop down bucket box where it has one you notice that there's more options available. The first option being the white solid feel which is this text that I actually have up right now and all everything that I do here is controlling that white text if I slide over here and pick number two it says red outline now in order to see that I have to enable it so if I come up here and click enable now all of a sudden because it said red outline this is a preset it's red and now if you notice I've got a red background around lining around the text. Very simple. You can change this if you don't. You don't have to go with red. Say for example you'd rather have blue. You can change it to blue. You can come up here and change that to blue outline if you want to. I'm going to go back to red and leave it as red. I kind of like that a little bit. And also let's go up. You can kind of change the opacity so it kind of fades in so it's not quite as sharp. You can do that. And all the other options that you have down through here. Well let's go back up here and check out and see what number three does black shadow okay here again it's not enabled so let's enable it and bang all of a sudden you've got a nice even shadow behind it you can line it up and make it not so heavy if you want to and that makes it very nice a quick and easy way to outline your letters as well as put a shadow on it just by implementing the I can't even talk today uh, these elements here and just going to this paintbrush item here and selecting the drop down menus. We go down to item 4, 
blue border. Well, let's enable that. And what that does now is automatically puts a blue border around each individual letter. You can kind of have some fun with this, and if you want to, come in here and check the rounded. And round them up a little bit. Now you're kind of getting a 60s effect to your lettering. So here again, you can change the border of these. I mean, change the name of these if you want to. Very simple usage of a text node. And here again, this video was just to show how simple it is to make some simple text nodes look very complex and very detailed. By just clicking on these boxes, you can go down to number 5. If you notice, it says element 5. You click on it. This is one that you can set as a preset to your own. So it gives you options so that you can set your own presets if you can make some and save it as your own. Go back to the text and it's just nice and simple. You can go back in here and unselect them. So we'll go ahead and unselect the blue box. And it, it, it just makes it nice and simple. Let's go up to the uh, red outline and we can kind of thicken that up a little bit if we want to. Make it a little bit thicker. Line style, if you don't like the red solid, make it dash. It really kind of breaks it up a little bit if you want to. Have some fun with it. Almost make it look like Morse code here. Now that's Since it, the line is kind of thick, it kind of blurs all in. You really can't see it, so you have to kind of take the thickness away. But I like the solid line. And here again, that's how easy it is to dress up your text a little bit by just going up there to the paintbrush, which is the select shading area, and then going down and using one of these four presets it's already there this is very quick simple video about just how to use the text node and some of the presets that are already out there for you to try and make your life a little bit easier again this is designed more so beginners like myself that's just learning how to make it look cool for my YouTube videos I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please like comment and subscribe below thank you very much